Very, very rarely do you see a world record shot in, in rainy conditions. Definitely tests you, right? Um, because things aren't as uh, perfect as you would like them to be. So you have impact to the arrow. Um, typically you have to add yardage, right? Because your arrow is being impacted by rain. Um, your tab, um, or for release shooter, uh, same thing, the inter interaction with your hand. It's wet. Um, and then sight picture as well. Uh, all of these things change under those conditions. So it's important to remember to move your sight, but generally I find that the first shot when your bow is really wet will make the most amount of difference and then they'll go up again a little bit more. Another thing is all the bow and also the string get wet and the, the water makes the string a little heavier and you have to take care of it. You definitely want to keep your fingertip dry, as dry as possible, uh, and keep yourself warm if it's also cold. My first end of practice, uh, I was having a little trouble with, with that, so I take out my gloves and I was like, okay, all the time like this. And the second end was like better, 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 and the group was tight. So if your fingers are cold, uh, if you've lost dexterity, um, your connection to the bow is gone. Um, it's extremely difficult. You're relying on uh, kind of that muscle memory, um, that subconscious to kind of guide you through it because uh, in, in the moment you're unable to really feel what you're doing. I think also stay positive because often that's what gets to you. If you get too cold and you start just being negative about it, the weather that you can't change. So just, yeah, stay positive. more focused on movement over muscle, right? And, and, and understanding that it's not gonna feel right, but you still have to trust in your training and your preparation and rely on it to go through these types of tough conditions. I don't love it or hate it. It's all right as long as I don't get too cold. I don't feel that it matters that much whether it's raining or not, because we're still doing the same thing, basically. Yeah, we just put on more layers. No, I'm kind of excited because I want to know, like, how will it be? with all the countries, like rainy countries, and then Mexico, like a hot country. So, I don't know, I, I really like to try new things, and this is a really new one. It's going to be uh, some trials and tribulations for some folks. I think the top level will still be able to persevere and push through, uh, mainly because they've done this before and they understand and they trust in their training. Um, some of the newcomers, some of the people who haven't been in these positions before or had to shoot in the rain, um, it's going to be it's going to be difficult for them.